I'm sure Phil. Oh my god. What? Whoa. <gasps> what? What? Wait. Did I just see something poke around the corner? No. Like no like the hand. Whoa. Whoa. Did you hear that? I heard it. <gasps> no. No way. No. Can you turn the flashlight back on? Whoa. <laughs> I cannot stop looking around everywhere. <laughs> For those who know me and follow me know how much I love 80s and 90s nostalgia. And this is the place that Jasmine comes to to purchase stuff. I've been here a couple of times to purchase stuff. So when the owner told us that he wanted us to come investigate, I'm, I'm like, there, yes. dude, I'm there. <laughs> I, I, I love coming here. Like, if you love all this childhood stuff from like the 90s, 80s, 70s like look around anything you want literally he has like everything, everything here everything. his place is so so sick look at he has the old school nintendo games literally anything he has et i love et Pee Wee herman like dude my pet monster yes! my pet monster he's bigger than big when he fights battles he always wins yes! Well, let me start. This is the red room. And so this was kind of like my safe room. Um, everything I've collected from like burnt houses to people that have passed from estate sales and family members and pets. This is like for all the pets that have passed away. A lot of the oh, stuff is like their urns and we've kept their ashes. So this is this was for my pixie, my child, my sibling, my child's uh, pet that passed. And so we made an altar for them. Uh, this was this all came from a community in New Mexico that several people had passed in a fire. We rescued the doll from one of the houses, uh, and you can see it's like melted. We rescued the doll from there, um, and then a lot of the pottery came from New Mexico from that time. This is probably 10, 12 years ago. Um, Obviously, we had a lot of stuff that was coming up throughout the years because all these masks I've collected, I've probably found one or two every couple of years for the past 15 years. And they've all come from really bad, like... Backgrounds and... Yeah, you know, the estate sales that I buy some from always comes with like a really deep story, you know, because I do estate sales. So they're like, oh, my brother was this and he was traveling and this and this and whatever. and. I like the masks and I've always had an affinity for these masks. So I, whenever I find them, I pick them up. But the Native American stuff is, you know, we're, I'm part Native American, so a lot of that kind of resonates. Mm -hmm. And the stuff we keep always, for some reason, we feel weirdness with it. But everything come, everything in this room basically has come from, an, from a passing or someone from an estate sale. And the Red, red Room, well, because The Shining's my favorite movie. Yeah. I but, love uh, The Shining. Uh, what were you telling us about this one right here? So this one actually was the one piece that I took out of a house that um, I guess was getting demolished. It was the one piece that wasn't destroyed. There was a fire and they were wrecking it. They were gonna rebuild it. Uh, I went in to look at what was left in the garage and it was a one piece that had no smoke damage. It wasn't broken, it wasn't chipped. And ever since I've had it, I got a speeding ticket on the way home. I got here and I broke all my other pottery that I had except for this piece. Oh, wow. um, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> I don't know oh, what's wrong. So it's with like it. bad luck since yes. it's been here. I think so. I just, I just don't like it. This was an altar for my mom at one point. Um, when she passed, we figured out some stuff about her that you know we didn't wasn't great. So I kind of dismantled the altar a little bit. So now it's just kind of like a holding pattern for stuff that we're gonna either put out or 
not hold on to. If we don't keep it, or if it doesn't go into the permanent collection, and it gets sold, like pretty pretty fast. Okay. Um, but a lot of the stuff in here has some sort of memory or some sort of connection, and then we just dump it if it stops being happy to us. Before we had started filming, I don't know if you guys heard anything, but I swear I heard a voice coming from this back area. I don't know if you guys heard that. Gonna, it sounded like a male voice, though. You're going to have a lot of that. I'm not going to tell you anything you're going to name, nothing. Just, you'll see it. All right. So what items were you showing up? All right. So what items were you showing up? All right. So what items were you showing up? Especially like around 10 o'clock when it gets dead silent because we're in an industrial area. Yeah. You'll hear cars go by and you'll hear someone talking. You'll hear chatter. You'll hear music. You'll hear things from the walls. It's just insanity. The, the stuff that goes on at night. It's, and the breezes. We're, we're closed off. There's no windows. There's no, no it's, it's warm in here too. So but you'll feel the ch temperature change and you'll feel the breeze. It's just really odd. So would you say all the activity happens in the red room more than like where the toys are at? Uh, red room more so and pro probably primarily the like little kitchenette area mm -hmm. is you'll hear the things. I used to think it was settling. I had a guy that a friend of mine that does construction came in, looked at her and said, dude, there's no way this is going to settle for five years. Wow. He said, you might have creaking, but not what you're actually hearing. Because he was here one night and it was just literally like... It was like, yeah, that's not settling, bro. That's something... Wow else just check keep a cut i can feel it i feel a little uneasy it's not good here <laughs> but it's been like that you know this was they had a big raid here before we moved in it was like it was a, like a crystal meth den and so we had to get i guess there was like there was a shooting and then there's some other bad stuff. We were attacked by the local essays at one point. We had guns pulled on us here. We had that was in here? In this. In so this. you think maybe there was people that died in here of there's maybe bad. overdoses? There's, there's something bad. I mean, well, the, the amount we pay for rent is that they couldn't find anyone legitimate to rent it. We got a sweetheart deal. And once we moved in, because we- Because they couldn't find anything yeah, else. We realized why- Because of all the history. Deal. Yeah. If you walk through the parking lot to get into my side door, it's pitch black, mm -hmm. like there's no light. And so it's it's like that industrial area. It's a good place to hide stuff. Yeah. Let's we'll see, see how what, it goes tonight. Yeah, we'll see what we get. Good luck. <laughs> thank, you, well, thank you for letting us investigate in here. Oh, absolutely. I, I love, love your place. I always tell Jasmine about it. I'm like, I can't. I know, every when time she's... I come, he's like, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> and she mentioned, dude, he wants us to investigate his place. I'm like, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> well, I heard, I mean, I I followed enough of you guys to be finally when I heard there was an opportunity, I was like, wait, you need, please come now. <laughs> we can need, we need some help. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, but yeah, enjoy. The place is yours. He has his brother's ashes in the back of the warehouse. He took us over there. It felt so off. And the thing is that his brother and him did not get along while the brother was alive. So that's what he, he feels most of the activity is because of that also. So we are here. We, I cannot stop looking at the stuff. <laughs> There's so much stuff we can do. He has Pee Wee's, um, Pee -wee's um, that, little scooter right here. Even that old school toy box. That's like... Oh, that's, still, that's from uh, Star Wars, right? Yeah. Oh my God, look. This is like straight up 80s right here. And it's warm in here. So I know he was telling us that we are for sure going to feel kind of cold spots here and there. But I am excited for this. And we are waiting for our good friend Kelsey Davies to arrive. When she gets here, we're going to get the investigation going. So let's see how it goes tonight, guys. Hello? Who's over there? We're uh, waiting for Kelsey to show up. We're gonna start doing some B-roll. And we just heard like a... We heard movement yeah. in that back room, that red room. Hello? Who just made the noise? If 
feels off for that area over there. Before we started interviewing him, I kid you not, I heard a male voice coming from over there. I just didn't want to stop to see if maybe you guys would say something or he no. would say something, but I heard a male voice. Hello? Hello? Back there is where his brother's ashes are at and his belongings. I'm getting the chills, dude. This is, it feels like we're kind of being drawn like yeah. over there. Who's here? I'm being drawn over here. Is this an old <gasps> What? Look at the I soft being face drawn over this there. Way. You're Whoa. being drawn this way? Yeah, is this like an altar? Whoa. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah, the whole drive over, I kept having this little boy, like, I kept telling Drew, I was like, there's like this little boy with a blue, really bright blue cap on, but I wasn't sure if he was with this place or not, and I keep getting it again, so I'm curious if he's, like, attached to something or what that is. I don't That's know. crazy. Um, what is that? I'm, like, so curious. Back here gives me weird vibes. Oh, so. How big is this place? Yeah, it goes back there more. Oh, wow. Ooh. I don't like it back here. Oh. <laughs> The fan scared me. <laughs> Should I turn the light? I saw the, the fan, I thought it was... There's something weird in here. How long have you guys been here for? Maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Okay. Can you tell her about this area? I keep on hearing something over there. Over there? Yeah, I stayed back because I kept on hearing something. Should yeah. we tell her about I... right here? No? Over here? Uh, That's kind of weird that you just straight away went back here. Yeah. It's bad, though. It's not like, well, it's not bad, bad, but it's definitely mischievous, whatever I'm feeling. I wonder if it'll knock anything over. Like, anything. We started doing B-roll, and then we started getting, like, movement back here. Oh, really? So we walked back here, and it's like something's just drawing us, like, back here. Yeah. It's weird though. I don't know it's what crazy. it is yet. Damn. That's crazy. That she just right away went back here. I think you walked in here. I, I, what? I just want to tell her. <laughs> so it's up to you just guys. tell her? Just tell her. Okay, it's crazy how you just walked right back there. Uh -huh. Because his brother's ashes are back there. They are. Yeah. Whoa. And him and his brother didn't get along. So really? he has his brother's ashes and a lot of his belongings. Does, do you think the brother kind of is, does things in here? I think does so. Does like mess with him? Are they Hispanic? He's part Hispanic. They are. It almost looked like a, like a, a man, but I feel like he was like Hispan like a Hispanic man back there. But I don't know if it's the brother. I just saw someone like standing right there. Was he like older hair. or young? He looked pretty young from what I was seeing. That was, oh. There's a knock right here. I heard that knock. Hello? So we're about to go lights out. Inside, screws. This is crazy. I mean, I've been over here. Whoa.
This is insane. Ah, oh my god, sorry. E.T. scared me. <laughs> 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 oh. No. Okay, so I turned around. I just see E.T. E.T.? Oh, he scared me. I thought he was going to get me. <laughs> this is actually really creepy. We're already hearing so many noises. I do feel something with this doll with the red hair. Right really? when I looked at her, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I felt something with that one. It does look we creepy. Can ask, we can ask um, Screws when he comes back. I just yeah. got the name Polly. Polly? Polly? Yeah. Polly. Yeah, he didn't want to give us any names. He didn't, he didn't tell us any names of okay. anything, so when he comes... Whoa. Whoa. Polly? Maybe it's someone else. Maybe she's stuck behind the glass. I don't know. You know how they say that glass does, yeah. like keeps them? Yeah. Like, I don't know. Unless they open this, but it doesn't seem like they open it very often. What? Whoa. What was that? It was like a screech. Like That was a giggle. Dude, that creeped me out. That gave me chills really bad. I came from behind you, Drew. Wait, I just see something poke around the corner. No. How tall is it? I saw like a little black thing come around the corner, like it poked out like that. Did you always see them like that? It's weird. You always see things poke around the corner. I didn't see it through. I saw it through my camera, not through my eyes. Who's here with us? We keep hearing you. When we were on our way here, I kept getting this image of a little boy with a bright blue cap. And I kept telling Drew in the car, I don't know what that was, but I do feel like it has something to do with this place. Maybe it's attached to something, or maybe he'll come through later and let us know who he is. But instantly when we walked in, I was drawn this way, and you guys were too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they were drawn this way as well. Ooh. Hello? Come and play with us. I did see a Hispanic looking gentleman here, too. He was about this tall. He was standing right here earlier as well. But I'm not sure who. No. You said you saw him by the door, too, right? Right here? I earlier? I saw him over here. Like, I was over by the door, and he was standing here, like in front of these beads. Who's back here? Whoever I felt back here, can you make a sound? What? Did you hear that? What? What? What was that? I heard like a breath. It was like I heard a s like a hissing. That's what I heard earlier. It was right here, like in like between you guys right here in the back. It was like right here. Right here. I don't know where that was weird. Hello? It was like a that hissing. Was <laughs> she just hissed back. Yes. Like a hissing. You should just hiss back. Like a hissing. You should just hiss back. 
Should I go check outside if anyone's out there? I don't even know what that would be. Why would someone be hissing at us? That is creepy. Because if it was someone dragging something, it'd keep going. No, this sounds like it's like... like... Hello? Who's doing that? Human. Oh, it's a human. Okay, that's good at least. What? Yeah. I'm so confused. Should I go check in the back outside him? I mean, yeah. He has cameras all around. I'm sure Do you believe in us? <gasps> Do, Do you believe, you believe in us? Believe in us? Do you want us to believe in you? Who are you? I should go over there, I think. I heard something. Can you tell us who you are? Help us. help us. We can help you. It keeps saying us. Yeah. Do you us. believe in us? Help us. Yeah. Maybe there's a lot of like spirits trapped to the the toys. Maybe. What do you need help in? I don't like. I don't want to look over there. Hmm? I don't want to look over there. <gasps> what? What? Someone took a breath over there. I heard that. Did you I hear that? that? You. No, it was not me. Whoa. Did you hear that? I heard it. I'll use my voice. Did you hear that? Who's making noises? That hissing thing stopped. Whoa. Husband. <gasps> oh. Dude. Husband. Don't say anything yet. Whoa, that was loud. I'm like. I know. Speechless right now that that came through. Husband. She kind of mentioned a little something. It's up to you, babe. Because that's like a big, big, big one. So this altar that's over here, what was that? Was that a growl? I don't like talking. Okay, that's okay. You don't they have to talk. They both didn't. Because there's stuff that we can say like on camera, and there's stuff that stuff that we can't say. I'm kind of I'm speechless. Like I know. Okay, so was it the altar? I was punished. <gasps> okay, Whoa. okay, okay. I feel like you guys got okay. Shared. Okay. So my friend Screws, both his parents passed away. Yeah. But the mother passed away first. Okay. And she went through a lot of things. Night yeah. alive. What? Dude, I've never heard this go off so much. Night it's going alive. off like back it's to back to back. Alive. So the mother went through a lot of terrible things and they found out a lot of things about the mom after she passed mm -hmm. and they have an altar for her. Okay. The one that's right here. Okay. And the fact that it said husband is because like the dad they found out a they lot of out terrible, lot of... terrible bad things about him, oh, shit. and it had to do kind of with the mom. Was so there... that's why like he... they took down her altar like... and stuff like that. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on camera. I'm getting like such a heavy smell over here. I don't know. It's very old smelling. Do you smell it? Yeah, like old people. Whoa. Oh, that's me. Oh, sorry. oh okay. <laughs> 
I don't smell anything. Like old people things. Like, yeah, it was like a whiff of like this just really strong scent. I'm telling you, as we were about to leave this area, I heard like a male breath. Like, yeah. <gasps> I did see that man earlier. That is just crazy. Like, I'm still like in shock that came out. So I, it's like a guarantee. Like the family's here. Yeah. The brother, the mom, the Are dad. Are you the man that I saw? Can you tell us what? What was is? that? Did you hear that, Drew? Like you saw that, yes. He reacted to it. Man that I saw. Man that I saw. Can you tell? It was, like, uh, uh. It was like, like a screech. It sounded like a woman screeching. Really? Yeah. I but like, hear it. me and I him heard it. Heard it sounded it, very witchy. I thought it was outside, so I didn't say anything, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I, he heard it because I saw him react to it. Oh well, yeah. But I'm surprised I, you guys didn't hear it. I didn't hear that. I didn't hear it. That was loud. I, ca I heard growling from inside of there. I saw you too. Tom. Tom? Tom. Is that who I just saw standing right there? I keep hearing noises over there too. Behind the speed area, what's in there? I don't know. I, I heard a growl come from in there. Like I saw you react to that. Dude, I cannot like keep my eyes like Staying in that back right area. Here. They were like as tall as me, but they had something on their, I don't know if it was a hat or what it was. Dude, it's freezing right here. Remember he was saying about the cold breeze and it's yeah. hot in here. I just felt a cold walk breeze right, just walk right through right here. where I'm standing right now, you'll feel it. That's where I saw him standing. This, this was a different person. Dude, I don't want to have my back <laughs> over here. I felt that cold breeze, like it touched my arm too. As you were mentioning about the, the person you saw, yeah. I felt it like on my arm. So the mom's altar was right here, right? Mm -hmm. Ava. Ava? I keep feeling a cold breeze just like hitting my and arm and like my hand. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? That was loud as hell. <sighs> that scared the shit out of me. Was that you? Tom? Who made that noise? I keep feeling like a cold breeze just following me. I feel it on my hand, on my arm, and it's my right arm where I keep feeling it. Tell me who I'm feeling right now. Are you able to come through? Oh my god. What happened? Somebody just whispered in my, back in my ear. Who is this strong energy that's Somebody over just here? As soon as you were talking. <laughs> the flashlight turned off. It turned off? Maybe they want yeah. it off. I don't know. This one's still on over here. Yeah. Are you able to come forward? and show us that you're here somehow. Whoa. Whoa. It came back on. It turned on. <laughs> Thank Whoa. you. It turned off. Oh, is that recording? Thank you. Can you turn the flashlight back on? Whoa. Oh Whoa. my God. 
Did you guys hear that? Yeah. Thank you. See, we have the lights that you can use if you need more energy. I'd appreciate if you come forward. We're here to give you a voice. We're not here to disrespect you in any way. We just want to give you a voice. If this is Polly, can you say what you are attached to? It's definitely like a little girl. Do you have a lot of friends here? Her doll. Is a doll. I heard that. Is that your doll in the case up there? Me. Can you tell us how many spirits are here? Fifteen. I heard fifteen. Fifteen. That sound like the hissing. It did. The s. Okay. Calling out to whoever wants to show me anything. If the little girl wants to, whoever I was speaking to. Please come forward. Oh, someone's coming through. Whoa. It's like a old timey, it looks like an old town, almost like a photograph, like a memory. And there's, it looks like a couple men standing on the side. One of them, they're like in black, in all black. They almost look like shadows, a couple of them. If my neck. My neck. I said she got grabbed oh, on the I bed. just, yeah. Suicide. Whoa. Whoa. My neck in suicide? Why are you apprehensive? <gasps> oh my god. What? Whoa. <gasps> what? Oh my god. There, dude. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, oh my god. There's this man like coming after me. Like literally about to attack me. I'm getting the chills right now as you're saying A that. A man. And it looks so similar to the hand I was seeing. Like, he's, like, ready. He's, like, this. Oh, my God. I got full body chills. Whoa. Oh, my God. That's, like, terrifying. <sighs> Whoa. It's very nasty here. Whoa. Shh. <sighs> God, that... Okay. It feels different in here now. Thank you. Whoa, you're welcome. Thank you for coming through. We really appreciate it. Here. Copyright. Wait, I'm so con- How's that playing? That was what weird. Was that? that was like Pandora, but it- I was started not playing on, out of nowhere. It started playing on the- That was really weird. I wonder what the lyrics said. It said, I'm so confused. I'm sick of it started being playing, used. It started playing when you were on the app. Yeah. What? That's so weird. It's never done that. Oh, the light turned light. on. It turned off again? As yeah. soon yeah. as Drew turns around, it turns off. And I'm getting chills down my spine like crazy. It feels like something's like right up against my back. Look at, at the bottom, there's like letters. See at the top of the letters? Can't focus. English. Oh. It's English. It's English, okay. What word is it? It's like it wants us to figure it out. Its name. <gasps> yes! Oh, the I light. area.
You don't like it? I don't like it in here. It's super heavy. Especially like knowing there's ashes over there. And knowing the backstory to like everything, I I don't like it. Yeah, it's about to be ten o'clock in like a minute and he was telling us the activity. Over there. Over where? It turned off. I it went over there. Oh, it turned on. Oh. Hello? What the heck? Whoa. Hello? Are you over there? Where that flashlight is? I think that's a yes. Are you male? Can you light it up for yes if you're a male? Oh. Yes. Whoa, wow. it's like turning off. It's a man. Are you an older man? Are you Scrooge's brother? Oh my oh, god. Oh, dude. Because it didn't light up when I said older man. No. It lit up when he said screws his brother. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my god, Whoa. it lit up. Are you the man that Did I see? You heard that? Whoa. Sound like a cry. Are you the man that I? Hear that? Are you the man that I? Hear that? Okay, from back there, where his ashes are at. Are you the man that I saw earlier? <gasps> Whoa! It's like confirming it's like to going it. Going like... crazy. He wasn't doing that earlier. It wasn't. And it's only reacting to questions. About the brother. About the brother. He's coming. I'm getting the chill so oh. bad right now. Oh. He's coming. Like, I feel like he's, like, walking over here. Whoa. Like, see, has it turned on at all? Yeah, it's like... Neutral now. Are you attached to something? Oh. Whoa. Oh, look at look at your. Look. The K two is going off. It's going crazy. Are there multiple spirits here right now? Whoa. Thank you. Oh my Whoa. god. Thank you. Dude, that's crazy. What the heck? <laughs> Dude, it feels like we're just surrounded yeah. by like all these spirits. I don't know where it's coming from though. Like, I don't know if it's coming from over there or back there. Creature. Creature. <gasps> what kind of creature? That was full on walking. Yeah. I don't like the theory. Who's walking back there? Whoa, that was loud and heavy. Marjorie. The rumors are true. Is it lung cancer? Is that what I'm... My throat's hurting. My chest. The rumors are true. Like... 
Something's coming on. Okay. Oh my god, what the f What is that? Is that? There's like a... Oh my god, full body chills. There's like a boy right here. And there's someone else over here. And they're... They're just like... They're going like this. Bowing? N no, but it's like... What is this? Look, can you look look at it real quick? Yeah. Oh what? Oh wait, hold on. I saw what you meant. I've never seen it move like that before. It was just going like this. Yeah, it looked like it was It was conjured. What? It was conjured. I You're not cold? I mm -mm. thought I heard the stall move. You don't feel the cold? No, I'm not cold at all. Look at my hairs. <gasps> yeah, she has like the full body chills. No, I'm freezing. Like, I feel there's... Dude, I'm sitting right next to you and I don't feel nothing. I feel there's an AC hitting me really? right now. I it's feel cold. okay over here. That's I don't feel any of the cold she's talking about. Oh, I do feel it over here. It's just on you. They mean you harm. <gasps> Why does everything attach to you? <laughs> Dude, it's freezing. I don't feel anything. I'm actually warm. Abandon hope. Abandon hope? That's not good. Dude, you have the goosebumps insane. I'm I feel like there is a fan hitting me. Dude, I don't feel anything and I'm right next to you. I don't feel I'm warm. It's like I, feel, I actually feel kind of hot. Okay, ready? All right, we're gonna repeat after me. We're calling out to the spirits. We're calling, we're out, calling out, to out to the, the spirits. spirits. If anyone wants to come forward, you're welcome to. If, if anyone, anyone wants, wants to come to forward, come forward you're, you're welcome, welcome to. to. We're putting our energy together. We're, we're putting, putting our energy, energy together. together. And opening up a portal. And opening up a portal. If you want to come through and communicate. If you, you want, want to come, come through and communicate. Now is the time. Now is the time. If any spirits want to come forward, now is the time. You're welcome to. We have a portal opened now with all of our energies. I've never seen it this close. Child. 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 Whoa. Child. And it, what were you saying right now, too? You felt it was like a little kid who sat down. Yeah. I felt that, too. And you mentioned earlier about a little boy. Yeah, there was the boy. There was, a little, there was two little girls, I think. I think there's like four children. Oh, that went off. Uh, has, has anything happened since, since we've been gone? Um, we haven't spent a lot of time here since that happened. We had a couple of shows, but after, uh, you guys sent me the information, like some of the information, because we really didn't talk. Like I didn't give you specifics about yeah, anything yeah. And, and you didn't really tell me what was going to happen. Yeah. But, um, some of the things that there was a couple of things. One was, the, I guess the two little girls that, um, that your friend Kelsey, Kelsey yeah. saw. Um, I've had a couple of little girls that have followed me probably for the past 15, 18 years oh, since wow. the other house. And it's a pair? It's a pair of girls. Yeah, there's the boy. There's a little, there's two little girls, I think. Um, and we see them everywhere. Like, actually, so at the old house, when I first got married to the second wife, I used to tell her, don't close the bathroom door and don't close the shower curtain. Um, just, there's always something that I think is in there. It just freaks me out. And so we just got married and she just moved in with me and we're at the old house and the, like the third weekend, I don't know, she was cleaning and closed the door and closed the shower curtain and when I got freaked out. I opened the door and I saw a pair of feet behind oh. the shower curtain. You had mentioned a little boy with a blue hat. Yeah, that's actually, so she saw the little boy with the blue hat 
at her house. Like, he came to her. Yeah, she was coming yeah. over here. She was getting the visions yeah. of the little boy so with the blue hat. from her house to, to here, she had told me right away, there's a boy with the blue cap. Yeah, the whole drive over, I kept having this little boy, like, I kept telling Drew, I was like, there's like this little boy with a blue, really bright blue cap on. But I wasn't sure if he was with this place or not, and I keep getting it again, so. In 1981, uh, Fernando Valenzuela craziness was hitting LA. And I was little, I was uh, probably nine. My cousin uh, was the same age. And we're all Fernandoed out. The whole East LA, all of San Gabriel Valley mm -hmm. is going crazy. Fernando this, Fernando, and we're, we get tickets to go to the baseball game. And uh, my cousin was outside playing baseball, like throwing, you know, I don't even know, he was just messing around outside, but he had his little blue hat on wow. and he got hit by a car. Oh man. Um, and uh, he did not make it. Um, if you saw that little blue cap guy here, that was my cousin. That is crazy. Because, yeah, she mentioned that. As soon as she walked in here, yeah. she was right away drawn to way, way in the back. She walked straight to the back, and then she mentioned the little boy with the blue hat. And then that's when she went way to the back, but we didn't want to tell her anything yet. We didn't tell her anything. My son's partner, father, passed away this year. And we have their partner's father's ashes here. Oh, okay. And we, she, or they had asked for the father to prank you guys. She had talked to him, being that he had passed. I said, hey, can you prank them? And were you guys said you saw somebody? Yeah, she, she said saw, she saw she a man saw, standing. She saw the man right right where your red fridge is, that, that doorway. Yeah, so that she altar, that altar is for my son's partner's uh, father. I did see a Hispanic looking gentleman here too. He was about this tall. He was standing right here earlier as well. I'm not sure who. I just saw someone like standing right there. Was he like older hair. or young? He looks pretty young. Whoa. And he's around. He's around a lot. Uh, premature, you know, death. You know, he was a very young man. And uh, there's, you know, there was some strenuous circumstances when he passed away from the hospital and he's been really active here. Mm. And then Kelsey also mentioned cancer? Yes, yeah. Uh, father died of stage four lung cancer. Is it lung cancer? Is that what I'm, my throat's hurting in my chest? Cause she was attached a lot to the stall right here and she got her name Polly. Oh yeah. With the red hair. The one in the back? Yeah, this one right there with the so red hair. That is a very, very, very special doll. That little girl is, that is the doll they used for uh, talking Tina in the Twilight Zone uh, oh. shows. So Rod Sterling and when they wrote that thing about a little girl that would talk and would come to life and would be friends with a little girl that was being abused by the father, that's the doll. And that doll was given to me by a woman named Paula. <gasps> no! No yeah. way! She was, she no. Worked. I feel something with this doll with the red hair. Right really? when I looked at her, yeah. I don't know what it is, but I felt something with that one. It does look we creepy. Can ask, we can ask um, Screws when he comes back. I just yeah. got the name Polly. Polly? Polly? Yeah. Polly. She worked on set in the. I just I got the, the chills right now. First two or three episodes, oh first two or three years of the show, and it was never on screen, but they had probably seven or eight of them that they were dressing for the show, and it's called it's a Burketta doll, the little imp. So that's a Burketta doll. Dude, that is. So, but she passed away, and mm. when she passed, um, I was given by her family. Uh, clothes and a few photos of her on set and stuff because I paid a lot of money for that doll. Like I wanted it. Kelsey, she's she she's not very like uh, movie savvy or like old school sure, stuff sure. like this savvy. So there's absolutely no way she would know this. Well, more and she came to this doll. Yeah, she did. More importantly, there's no way to, anyone would have known outside of maybe me and four or five other people that yeah, Paula and the name. ever existed because she was working under back then. I mean, work wasn't great for women. 
uh, and she was working under someone else that was taking, you know, was getting the credit, yeah, and yeah. she was kind of just like the dresser. Yeah, and she um, specifically said Pauline. Yeah. But that doll is... Uh, That's crazy. There's a few things in the collection that mean a lot to me. One is that doll mm -hmm. that I've had... 25 years maybe better wow um but yeah that's she's always she's always there that's yeah, that's pretty there. cool this is crazy to me I'm that sure. she was like on point with everything as soon as she walked in here like she's gonna flip do the name Polly, pauline like wow the little boy with the blue hat the man she saw it, it, dude i Oh, shit, he's oh. heavy. Dude, he looks nuts. Look at him. Oh. He's from Mexico. Hair. He was, they released him, I think, 10 years ago. I paid an awful lot of money for this guy. Mm -hmm.